G'day guys and girls, Billy here from West Australia, in the great southern region of WA. Well guys, I'm in my laundry at the moment and I thought I'd do a quick video on another area where I've got food stored for uh, the possible uh, Great Recession coming, uh, World War Three. We're on the verge of uh, World War Three happening with Russia and Ukraine, Taiwan and China, etc and uh, other bad scenarios, what could easily happen in uh, today's uh, world. So anyway, guys, here's a, uh, just another area. As I say, I'm in my laundry at the moment, just a small area, but it's a beautiful and nice little cool area um, and just a perfect spot to store food. So it just stays nice and cool in this area. So I just thought I'd show you a few more things. So uh, we'll get started guys. So, um, all right, what you can see here is probably about, I don't know, probably a six months to a year supply of uh, cat kibbles. So I've got heaps and heaps of uh, cat biscuits. There's another uh, bucket right here. I didn't even know it existed, full of cat biscuits. Um, so I've been doing this for about two years guys, just stocking up uh, slowly every time I go shopping I'll buy things that are on special and uh, just get prepared. Um, so this is just basically one room of uh, probably three different areas where I've got food stored. Um, and when I say food stored, quite a lot of food guys. Um, I've got absolutely heaps and heaps of water, probably close to a thousand bottles uh, of water. So every time I go shopping in my uh, Katanning or Narigen, I'll buy about 10 cartons of this bottle, uh, these bottled water for about probably $10 a carton. It's pretty expensive, guys, but obviously water's a lifesaver and you just get 24 bottles uh, to a, uh, a carton of 600ml bottles. Um, I know it's very, very cheap in America. I mean, you know, for a carton like this in America, I think you're paying about $3. It's extremely expensive in Australia. Uh, dog food, guys. I've got absolutely shit tons of uh, dog tin dog food. Um, when I was buying this, it's about $33 for a carton of uh, how many? 12 cans of uh, dog food there. So... It's pretty expensive guys, but that's enough dog food there to last me easily six months to a year. I mean, I feed my dog Sophie probably once every couple of days. She gets all types of food guys. I mean, honestly, to be honest, she hardly even eats tinned dog food. She mainly eats uh, chicken wings, dog biscuits, uh, the occasional uh, meaty type bone, and probably about once... Um, I'd say once every 10 days she'll get some tinned dog food mixed with rice, pasta, um, a cr I'll crack an egg on top of it and uh, other things I'll add to it. I've got absolutely, once again, shit tons of uh, tinned cat food as well. So easily enough tinned cat food to last me for a year. Um, so I've got two cats, Beauty and Alfie. And one of these tins will last me two days. So paying right now um, about $2 a tin. But you know, I've brought some of these tins for a dollar a tin when they're on special. But the average price I pay is probably close to $2, $2.20 a tin of whiskers. So this is what I feed my cat whiskers, sometimes other brands, but whiskers is the main one. Um, so laundry powder guys, I've got absolutely easily enough laundry powder to last me for two, two or three years. This is just a tiny fraction of what you can see here. I've got it stored um, in other areas, in my toilet, um, and just a, probably my one of my laundry, uh, my bathroom uh, pantry. Um, so enough laundry powder, once again, I'll get it when it's really, really cheap. Uh, dog biscuits guys, got heaps and heaps of uh, dog biscuits, um, always have a couple of, um, probably two bags uh, for an emergency supply and they feed them just the pedigree brand uh, adult biscuits and what I do, um, I've got a 
big uh, steel bowl outside and I mix the dog biscuits with the cat kibbles and the cats and dogs just share a, a bowl and uh, yeah so a bag will last me probably about 10 days mixed with dog biscuits um, also guys so here's a couple of big drums full of all different types of food probably tin food uh, chocolate um, cooking oil um, all different types of food we've got more cooking oil here for, uh, olive oil I've got some more sunflower oil and vegetable oil behind that tin of olive oil um, in here bags of rice so I've got a bucket full of uh, long grain rice I only store white rice guys I've only got one bag of brown rice um, this one here is full of pasta shells, all different types of pasta. Another esky there, similar to the drums, full of all different types of food. Uh, these are cat biscuits, I probably just showed you before. I only just found that a little while ago, didn't realise it was there. In here, guys, a bag full of uh, pasta, uh, pasta shells, etc. So another little barrel. Full of about 10 to 15 bags of pasta. This one here is full of rice. So more long grain rice. I've got so much rice, guys. So every time I go shopping, I always buy a couple of bags of uh, uh, rice, mainly the one kilo bags. I'm not a big. Uh, I prefer the long grain rice. Um, mainly, I don't really buy this brand. I usually buy the. I think it's called Sunrise. And these are big, so this is the stuff I normally buy, the sun rice, long grain white rice, it's a beautiful Australian brand. And there's a big uh, bag there of uh, long grain rice, and that'll last a lifetime guys, it'll, uh, you know, it'll never go off, as long as weevils etc don't get in there. So it's pretty well insect proof, my containers. So we'll move that. So also, guys, so I store little tins of uh, four bean big uh, mix, uh, sweet corn, etc. In these um, steel cabinets, there's all types of tin food, um, sardines, tin soup, uh, stag chili. That's really nice. Uh, cream corn, normal corn. Uh, a few tins of uh, rice cream for sweets. A lot of tin tomatoes. Yep, that's the beans. But yeah, there's tin tomatoes in one of these drawers somewhere. Uh, beans, mixy beans. Uh, more sardines here, heaps and heaps of sardines. Corned beef. Got heaps of tins of corned beef, uh, tuna, salmon. My favourite is the Serena uh, oil, um, sorry, Serena tuna in oil, Italian style. Sometimes I'll accidentally buy the chilli. I don't really, I mean, I'll, it tastes nice, but I'm not the biggest fan. I just prefer normal Italian um, style tuna in olive oil. Sometimes the cans are very similar and I'll accidentally pick up the chili, the tuna chili. It's still nice. Uh, heaps and heaps of tins of soup, fellas. I love tin mushrooms. Pink salmon. This one here I can't open. I mean, I can open, but I've lost the handle. So more stuff in here, guys. Uh, beetroot. More soup, uh, tin tuna, sardines, uh, corned beef, tomato paste, always have tomato paste for cooking, uh, more chicken soup, uh, cream, more cream rice or sweets, I have got tin fruit somewhere, a little bit of tin fruit, uh, there's my uh, Crushed tomatoes, all different types of tin tomatoes, whole tin tomatoes. This one's like 
two uh, double laid full of uh, tin food, more steak chili, more tin tomatoes, tuna, uh, sour kraut. I've only got a couple of tins of that. whole mushrooms so just a huge different variety guys and as I say there's more dog food down the bottom there tin dog food um, but as I say everyone I know a lot of you guys can't really afford it a lot of you um, people out there are kind of battlers I mean I'm, I only get a pension guys and the amount of money I get is well below the uh, minimum wage on what most people earn in Australia but um, I don't smoke I don't drink, um, I've got no kids, I'm just by myself. The only real commitments I've got is my, uh, my dogs, my chickens and my other pets, my cats, my pet magpie, my garden and just trying to maintain this house. Um, I've got a, 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 a one big debt but I just pay that off. I'm pretty lucky guys, it's paid off uh, on a monthly basis. But anyway, guys, I just thought I'd show you another area where I store my emergency food if uh, the shit hits the fan. So, try and wake up, guys, with what's happening. You know, I guarantee you if uh, Thai China invades Taiwan or if uh, Russia drops a tactical nuclear missile on uh, Ukraine or, or if uh, the ground American ground troops enter... Ukraine um, You know, it's just going to take a matter of hours before every single shop every single supermarket every uh, single corner deli um, All the shelves are just going to be totally stripped bare within hours all the fuel stations will be totally stripped bare of uh, fuel etc um, So just try and stock up especially um, not just the fuel also on gas bottles uh, try and get yourself a gas barbecue etc I've got enough gas LPG bottles to last me for well over a year so all right guys just another quick video on prepping for uh, the end of the world and uh, just a area where I store my stuff uh, in this nice cool laundry area it's a bit cramped but it's never normally this cramped but it's just all about you know storing food for emergencies all right thanks for watching guys busy day today i'm already running way behind schedule um i've got to get motivated start unloading my truck and uh working in the garden today and just doing other stuff so we'll chat soon thanks for watching everyone see ya